What is going on guys? It is your boy Tropical in each shell back here today for another Habs related video training camp is starting in two days and it's going to be a lot of fun talking about it. But for now, we're still going to have to talk about the prospects and the rookies of the Montreal Canadiens. And today I wanted to talk about a bit of Logan Mayu who was drafted in the 2021 NHL draft. The controversial pick by the Montreal Canadiens. And I think it's time for us to stop talking about what happened and start talking about hockey when we talk about Logan Mayu. So yesterday at TVA Sport, Jean-Charles Lajoie had Tori Marinero uh, in interview and they talked about a lot of things. They talked about Slavkovsky, said that he expected Slavkovsky to make the team. He talked about Caden Goulet, said that Caden Goulet was the best junior player in his opinion and all that stuff. But he also talked about Logan Mayu and he gave a reason of why the Montreal Canadiens when Bergevin was still there back in the 2021 NHL entry draft, drafted the guy even though it was a pretty controversial pick. So Tony basically just said when uh, Jean-Charles asked him, he said, and I quote, When I was watching the draft back in 2021 and I, that I saw that the Montreal Canadiens uh, drafted the guy, I was like, what? Really? So I picked up my phone and called the guy from the Habs room where they made the decision and they announced the pick. And for obvious reason, he didn't say who the source was. But when he called, the guy picked up and he said, Logan, are you really? And the Habs recruiter he was talking to said, Tony, this guy is going to be the next Shea Weber. Yeah, you heard that right. Habs recruiter from back then, I don't know if he's still with the Canadians or not, he didn't give out the name for obvious reasons, obviously, but the Montreal Canadiens, when they drafted Logan Mayu back in that draft, expected him to become the next Shea Weber, and I mean, the guy really knows how to play hockey, he has a hard slap shot, he's big, and he scores some goals, so... I can kind of see where they saw the Shea Weber. I don't think that he's going to be the leader that Shea Weber was. But in his play, I could kind of see the comparison. I think that Logan Mayu is going to be a really good NHL player. He needs to stop getting injured and uh, start devil up. But I think that if everything goes well, he's going to be a top four defenseman in the National Hockey League. And to compare him with Shea Weber, I think it's pretty fair. I think it's pretty fair. I don't think that he will be as good as Shea Weber. I don't think he's going to be all a Hall of Famer like I think Shea Weber is. But a good slap shot on the power play. Big guy getting some offense and good defense. I can kind of see him do that. So I think the comparison is pretty fair. I can see him playing a couple of years in Montreal if he stops getting injured. I would have loved watching him play at the rookie camp, but the guy's injured. He got injured. He got suspended. Man, you need to play those games. Stop. Chill. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to see more for Logan Mayu. Uh, so yeah. Uh, pretty pretty fair comparison in my opinion with uh, Shea Weber. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do this year. I don't know when he will be able to restart playing some games, but it will be interesting following him for sure. Maybe he's going to make the World Juniors in December. Maybe, maybe not. But it's gonna be interesting to see how he does with the London Knights. And I hope we will be able to see him next year at the rookie camp. And maybe he will show some interesting things. And... Hope he's going to be good. Hope he's going to do fine. I wish him all the best. And let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Tropical NHL. And I'll see y'all later for another video. Bye-bye.